The National Invitation Tournament debuted in March 1938 at the old Madison Square Garden in New York. The Temple Owls in the dark uniforms have reached the finals along with the University of Colorado in white. In this game, the Owls are Don Shields, number four, and Howie Black, 11 at forward, Don Henderson, number three, and Ed Boyle, number eight, in the guard slots, and Mike Bloom, number 12, at center. The weave is an offense designed to free a man going for the basket. Bloom to Henderson to Bloom to Boyle. Back to Bloom. And in. Owl coach Jim Usselton's basic offense was the fast break. The Owl defense was a 2-1-2 zone with the front pair chasing the ball. Associate Supreme Court Justice Byron Wizard White wore number 23 for Colorado in this game. He was a guard. The Owl defense forces a turnover and the fast break nets two. Temple brings it down again. But Colorado gets the rebound. And Ed Boyle's play is too aggressive. Oklahoma A&M and Bradley fell to the Owls in the tourney's early rounds. Temple goes back to its weed. It can play havoc with a strict man-to-man -man defense, and Colorado is getting picked apart. Henderson, number three, back to Shields. And a two-handed set shot does it. Number 11, Howie Black, intercepts for the Owls, and the fast break is on. Colorado brings the ball down court. But the Temple defense forces an outside shot and the Owls get the rebound. Now there's a pass. And a shot. Try again. And again. Switch. Colorado brings the ball down. But the Owls zone again prevents an inside shot. Mike Bloom, Ed Boyle, and Don Shields were all America's selections in 1938. Shields was the NIT's most valuable player, and Boyle was the tournament's leading scorer. The Owls come down court. Mike Bloom fakes the shot and passes off to number three, Don Henderson, whose shot is no good. Wizard White gets the rebound. And Colorado gets two points from outside. The other Owls in 38 included Albie Freiberg, Bob Nickel, Reds McDermott, Jim Kildorf, Tony Alfano, Jim Busha, and Jim Usselton, Jr. Harry Litwack was freshman and assistant varsity coach. The Owls went on to win the first NIT 60-36 to become the nation's top collegiate basketball team of 1938. 